Hey, what's up you guys? This is Anthony here from Tactical Solutions. Stay tuned. Today, we're going to be talking about canister stoves and windscreens. Alright guys, today we're going to be taking this Snow Peak Gigapower 2.0 and we're going to be matching it up with the Snow Peak windscreen. We're also going to be adding a secondary windscreen above it, like so, with our Tokes 750 milliliter titanium pot. What we're going to try and get out of this video today is to see what our boil times are going to be without any windscreens whatsoever, with this singular windscreen, and then one with both the windscreens included. We're gonna be testing everything today with an infrared thermometer, just to make sure that everything is run as scientifically as possible. First test is gonna be the Gigapower stove by itself with just two cups of cold water on it and the Tokes 750 mil cup. Second test, we're gonna add this No Peak Gigapower windscreen with the Tokes cup, see if anything changes. The third test, we're gonna add this windscreen and the secondary windscreen, which will fit in something like that, and our Tokes cup within there. So that's gonna be our three tests. Anytime you guys are playing with fire, please be smart and have a fire extinguisher near you and know how to use it. Fun fact, you should know the PASS acronym. Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the nozzle, and sweep. It's gonna weigh the system here. All in all, our weight is one pound. 0.0, .0 ounces exactly. Okay, it's lit. Crank it all the way up. And start the timer. At one minute, our water temperature is 120 degrees. At two minutes, our water is at 135.6 degrees. There's a lot of heat that is radiating away from the wind and pushing the heat away from the cook pot. At three minutes, our water is reading 154.9. At four minutes, the water is 171.8 degrees. At five minutes, 193.2 degrees. Five minutes and 30 seconds, we're almost at a boil. And five minutes and 45 seconds, we're at a rolling boil. For two cups of water on the Gigapower 2.0. All right, gonna weigh the canister after that burn. We're at 15.3 ounces. So we went through about six tenths to seven tenths of an ounce. Well, let's see if adding a windscreen will help. It started. We'll go ahead and bring it up all the way to high and start the timer. All right, at one minute, our water temperature is 119.4 degrees. At two minutes, our water temperature is 138.8 degrees. Three minute mark, our water temperature is 174.0 degrees. Four minutes, our water temperature is 192.5 degrees. And it looks like at about four minutes and 45 seconds is when that started to go to a rolling boil. Okay, we'll go ahead and weigh the fuel canister after that second run. We got 14.9 ounces. And this is what our third and final burn is gonna look like. The Snow Peak Gigapower stove, the Snow Peak windscreen, and then a external windscreen that I mounted on the inside. It's on. And go ahead and run that thing wide open. Our one minute temperature is 151.7 degrees. At two minutes, our temperature is 189.6 degrees. Two minutes and 42 seconds, our temperature is at 205. 250, we're at a rolling boil at 250. Two minutes and 50 seconds, we're at a rolling boil. Wow, that cut the time dramatically. The one issue I did see was that the foil started to get holes in it. So we burned through right there, and we're about to burn through a large section right here. So you can see right there, we actually burned a hole through the windscreen. And this is really thick stuff here. That didn't hold up too well for one burn on high, but we did drop our burn times drastically. Let's go ahead and weigh the can after that third burn. We got 14.6 ounces. Just dawned on me, this is boiled six cups of water didn't think to make any coffee or any tea i just decided to dump it out all right so now that we've run all three tests and we've written down all the data that we needed we can go ahead and take a look and see what we found out i think what we found was actually pretty interesting just as a results recap we'll go through the three tests on our first boil without any windscreens we burned 0.7 ounces of fuel for our second test 
we burned 0.4 ounces of fuel, and that was just with the GigaPower windscreen. For our third test, we burned 0.3 ounces of fuel with both the GigaPower windscreen and my aluminum windscreen. Our boil times were even more dramatic. For our first test, we boiled water in 5 minutes and 45 seconds. For our second test, we boiled water in 4 minutes and 45 seconds. In our third test, we boiled water in 2 minutes and 50 seconds. So we shaved off 2 minutes by using both windscreens. So not only did we shave off 2 minutes, we also shaved off some fuel. About half. Man, science is fun. So before I show you my graph, yeah, I made a graph. You didn't think I'd make a graph? It's an educational video. You gotta have a graph. So here's the graph. On our horizontal axis, we have minutes of burn time. On our vertical axis, we have temperature and degrees Fahrenheit. Two of the stove tests started relatively at the same temperature, around 120 degrees at one minute. This was without a windscreen, and then the blue line was just with the GigaPower windscreen. And you can see with that GigaPower windscreen, our temperature started increasing over time, and ended up boiling about a minute quicker than without. When we jump to using two windscreens, this is where we see huge difference. Our boil time at one minute has increased from 120 to 150 degrees. And the incline of the temperature, as you can see, is linear. As opposed to on this graph here, you can see some periods of ups, downs, and ups again. Likely due to wind blowing through and pushing the flame away. Just by looking at this graph alone, you can see how much better it is to go with that dual windscreen setup. I just want to say, for my third test, how I blew out the windscreen, yes, that was an issue, and that's something that I would have to address. However, I think a simple fix to that would be just not running my burner on absolute high. I typically never do that anyways when I'm backpacking to conserve fuel, so by running it on medium or medium high, I don't think it would burn through the windscreen. But I'll go ahead and test this in a future video and, and kind of see what happens. And please stay tuned, I got another video that's already been filmed, I just need to edit it. And in this video we're using alcohol stoves with different windscreens and we're testing the boil times with that. The results were not as obvious as you think. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you like it, if you do hit that thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already. Go ahead if you're into backpacking videos. Up to you, I ain't gonna force you. See you next time.